That's right. Drinking video today. Yeah. Zootopia is an animated children's movie about a little bunny rabbit who becomes a police officer. It's also a thinly veiled allegory for racial discrimination. We're not here to talk about that today, we're here to talk about Gazelle Booty. <laughs> Carl, we've only done the intro and you're Hello. opening the second beer. Because it's, it's one of those videos, Brad. It's one of those videos. Let's talk about this gazelle booty, shall we? Okay, so in Zootopia, there is an anthropomorphic gazelle character called Gazelle. And I think that's amazing because a writer somewhere got paid to write that fucking name. <laughs> On his like, you know, resume, he gets to write, yeah, I came up with all the names for the characters in Zootopia, including the gazelle called Gazelle. Yeah, that was my favourite. That's the one right there. <laughs> Reminds me a lot of, um, do you ever watch Claudio Chance of Meatballs? Yeah. The second one. Yeah. In the second one, do you know all the animals they introduced all the pun names? Apparently there was one guy whose job it was was to come up with those names. And he said, oh, I just went, I, I got paid for a weekend where I sat at home just coming up with, like, vegetable puns. <laughs> and that guy's a fucking legend. That guy's up there in, like, the pantheon of my hero. He's, like, up there with Harambe and David Bowie, just, like, shining above them. I don't even know who the fuck he is, but I know he's a hero. What is your favourite of the names of them? Oh, I don't know. There's so many fucking good ones. Look at the mangoes! You mean flamingos? Flamingos! There's a bunch of shrimp! They look like chimpanzees. Shrimpanzees! I always get them mixed up with the animals from the Pinata. Because they're all like named, they're all um, uh, pun names on sweets, like Pizzly yeah. Bear. Or Fizzly Bear, sorry I got it wrong. A Pizzly Bear is actually a cross between a Grizzly Bear and a Polar Bear. And I got those two things mixed up in my head. That's another fact for you, man, we're going off on something today, sorry. Should I just drunk with two beers before we started? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, the gazelle! The gazelle booty, yeah! We need to talk more about the gazelle booty, yeah! Um, in the film, Gazelle is a mammal rights activist and singer, voiced by Shakira. I'm Gazelle. Welcome to Zootopia. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, I forgot. Oh, also, also, also. Um, Gazelle is beloved by everyone in the Zootopia universe, including a buffalo, voiced by Idris Elba. Chief Bogo! Not now. Wait, is that Gazelle? No! I'm Gazelle, and you are one hot dancer. Also, do you know, um, buffaloes and, like, you know, they have a way of like, you know, communicating that like humans don't really understand, including hello and goodbye. And do you know what buffalo say when they say goodbye to their children? What? Bye, son. <laughs> Boom! Over the knee! Do you reckon there was a really awkward phone call where the creators had to call Shakira and be like, do you, do you, do you, do you want to be a gazelle in our movie? <laughs> you think it would be, wouldn't you? Like, oh, we've got to call up this massive, huge singer-songwriter and be like, oh, hi, Shakira, would you like to be in our movie and be like, you know, a fucking gazelle? But apparently Shakira was well up for voicing this fucking gazelle. Like, she heard the line like, oh, you get to be a sexy gazelle, so like, you're fucking on it. Done. I'll be a sexy gazelle, why the fuck not? Is Idris Elba in this? What, he's a buffalo? Nice, let's go. <laughs> I should probably also mention that one of the reasons Shakira signed on to appear in the movie is because she agreed with its central message of accepting people for who they are. But I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest it was mostly the sexy gazelle thing. Just nod in the background. I know People it's true. People can't hear the nod. The nod doesn't play well <laughs> in an audio sense, does it? I, I do, I do it like that. You rub, you rub your microphone. <laughs> People love it when our microphone fucks up, mate. How sexy was this gazelle? Um, pretty sexy, but it wasn't sexy by Shakira's standards. Because you see, um, the final design of like gazelle seen in the movie is pretty much identical to the conceptual art that Shakira saw, save for a single difference. I'm on the edge of my seat here. What was this difference? Well, in the original concept art that Shakira saw, Gazelle's ass was flatter than a pancake cooked in that gravity chamber Vegeta trains in in Dragon Ball Z. We were planning on going like a tangent about Dragon Ball Z here, but I've actually run out of beer to open my other beer with. So Brad, can you pass me some booze right now to open my beer, please? Ooh, Mount Gay, good choice. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> we practiced that so many times. You've no idea how many bottles of booze are just on the floor right now. <laughs> I look like I've been on like a weekend bender with Charlie Sheen. It's ridiculous. According to animators who worked on Zootopia, Shakira took one look at those conceptual designs and insisted upon a singular change before he voiced the character. Give Gazelle a slamming ass. I messed up tonight.
When I saw the designs of Gazelle, I always assumed it was based on Shakira. Yeah, a lot of people do, and that's because obviously it's a change insisted upon by Shakira herself. But original concept art, which you can put behind me and you can find online, um, shows Gazelle looking more like a gazelle, which are obviously famous for being quite our frail, timid creatures with like rake thin bodies. Yeah. And Shakira took one look and went, I'm not going to voice a character who doesn't have a giant fat ass. <laughs> and you know what? I respect that so deeply. That is amazing. In my life, she walked in and went, everything's fine, just one thing. What? Massive ass. I'm imagining in my head, like the animators trying to placate Shakira by going, Shakira, yeah, um, it's a great point. Yeah, we love, we love giant asses, but gazelles are famous being quite live, like frail creatures and like, Giant asses and gazelles don't often appear in the same sentence. And Shakira was like, yeah, but you've seen how much woman's in front of you right now. And they looked from Shakira's ass to the render of gazelle on the screen and went, I guess I gotta do it, boys. And they broke a button on the desk that just has the word enhance written on it. And they smash it with their fist and it just, the ass just gets gigantic. And Shakira was like, yes, enhance. And it's like, that video came straight, the trailer for it. It's like, you can't handle the intense graphics. Which we've mentioned before, but fuck it. We put it in again, it's so good. But Brad's gonna edit in just like Gis Giselle's ass shaking from Zootopia and the kid's eyes melting because he can't handle just how much ass is on screen. Oh man. It's so good. The, the idea that Shakira walked in and went, the one thing everyone knows about gazelles is that they're like, you know, they're so graceful and dainty. He's like, no, I'll give it a fucking giant ass to it. It's like, Shakira, it can't be done. We can't increase the size of the ass. And Shakira's like, you can and you will, or I will walk. But Shakira, we can't handle the intense booty. It's like the booty can and will be handled. Do it now. And like the animator gets fired and they bring in like ones with like big giant goggles on. They've got to sit like that away from the screen. <laughs> they just enhance the size of this gazelle ass. Oh. So I want more actors to start doing shit like that. And the example that springs to mind for me immediately is Shark Tale, which people don't know is like a really shit fucking movie about a whale car wash. And it's got like Will Smith and Robert De Niro in it for some reason. And I believe there is um, a fish who's voiced by Angelina Jolie. So they made the lips on the fish bigger <laughs> to look more like Angelina Jolie. It's got massive lips. <laughs> it's got massive lips. And I think as well, they gave the fish who like Will Smith voices little fins to represent his massive ears. You got a name? <laughs> you want to tell me what it is? <laughs> And they even give one of the shark who's Robert De Niro the fucking the famous wart he's got on his face. Mm. You gotta understand when you look weak, it makes me look weak. I know. I, I can't have that. I'm sorry. Speaking of Shark Tale, because like my sister when she was very very young was obsessed with that movie, so I've watched it many many times, including like all the director's commentaries and like special features. So, like I know like, an unreasonable amount about this shit movie about a fish who cleans whales. And one thing I discovered that I found fucking amazing is that the whole point is, like Will Smith's character, this little fish, works in a whale wash, and whales go through this car wash, like this, it's based on a car wash, and get cleaned. Yeah. That thing that they designed is actually realistically possible, and they told people, yeah, make it, like, you know, this is a thing that could exist if we built it. And they told like, the animators, like, don't make it look fantastical, make it look realistic. And it's a fucking car wash for whales. So in this movie about a fish that dances and punches sharks and cleans whales, like, they said, yeah, make the whale car wash the most realistic part and make it look like it could make it so it could exist in real life. That's bullshit. <laughs> if you've got an animator and you wanna make them do something stupid, don't make them design, you know, an actual functional whale car wash. Make them give a character in the movie a giant ass. Are there any other changes that they made to the design of Gazelle? Not any that Shakira herself insisted upon, but the animators did give Gazelle a costume reminiscent of one worn on stage by Shakira as a nod to the fact she was voicing the character. 
boom, introduce thing. Because not everything has to be funny, folks. Sometimes you just need to get information across. We can't, I can't be on all the time. You say that when we've probably just had about eight minutes of stuff that isn't even related to the video. <laughs> hey, it's all interesting, it's all funny. No one comes here for the facts. So a gazelle with that much booty, somebody must have complained. Of course, because we have to remember this is a Disney movie that was released and as you can imagine, more conservative folks out there said, it's not, you know, suitable or, you know, like responsible to put a character into a children's movie that has this much fucking ass. And of course, these complaints were soundly ignored by Disney. Disney didn't give a fuck, which I'm assuming might made the internet very happy because almost as soon as the character's like, you know, design was announced and revealed in official promo material, porn was made of gazelle. Because of course there was, because that's what the internet does best. Oh man, there's, there's some weird porn out there. Yes, there is. I have heard. Don't post this in the comment section. <laughs> no, seriously, do not post fucking... <laughs> I know your DeviantArt account needs some love, but it's not getting it in my fucking comment section. You stop it, you. You, you hover away from that control C, and what you do is you go click some good, wholesome, Christian Sonic content. <laughs> Don't bring Sonic back into this. I am bringing Christian Sonic on out back, fan out back into this. It's so funny, because as well, it's in the original article, we have to mention it. It's a coincidence that we've just mentioned it in like two videos on the row. Yeah, you, just, you for some reason you were just reminded of it like last oh, time we yeah. filmed. The internet just can't leave anthropomorphic animal characters alone. And it's kind of weird, isn't it? So you think, oh yeah, because that's a really awesome design. The fact they might, you know, change the design of characters to like match the voice actress. That's really cool. And the internet's like, you know what though? Now she needs to get railed by like a 16 inch like buffalo dong. Like, Come on internet. I should probably apologise for reminding everyone about the existence of weird furry porn. So to cleanse the palate of your mind, here's just a nice wholesome clip from Zootopia of some slamming gazelle ass. Try everything. So this is what we call a drinking video. Yeah, like, you know, trademark term. <laughs> Fact fiend drinking video. And well, we do get the occasional comment when people don't think you're actually drinking anything. Yeah, or they don't think that I'm actually drunk or, like, you know, like, getting on my way to being drunk. So we should probably, like, you know, like, address that now, since we've got nothing else to talk about, because I think gazelle booty talks for itself. Also, it's weird as well, the two videos I can think of that spring to mind about where we drink involve gazelles. <laughs> I know about gazelles. What a strange coincidence <laughs> that we did not plan at all when I noticed I had still had like four or five beers left in the fridge. But no, we do actually drink it. Brad can confirm we had to do the stunt where I caught this Mount Gay bottle like four or five times because like we threw it on the floor and it's nearly smashed. But yeah, like we do, I do actually drink in these videos, much to Brad's annoyance, because they usually are like twice as long. Yeah, they're really hard to edit because you flub the lines a lot more. Yeah, because one of the things we get, like we get a lot of comments saying, oh, um, sorry. As, as is just proven. Yeah, it's almost like I flub my lines, so I can have another sip. <laughs> So I have a lot of comments on Twitter and stuff saying, oh, why don't you do drinking videos anymore? Have you sold out? Is it because you're getting bigger now? You don't want like, you know, YouTube's crap down. No, it's because these videos take longer to edit. And now that obviously me and Brad can commit to them full time, we want to try and get as many out as we can. And the drinking literally adds like, it doubles the amount of time it takes to record the video and edit it. Let's see what we're on at the moment. Yeah. How long have we been recording so, so we're far? We're currently on a 40 minute mark. 40 minute mark. Usually, Usually at this bit we're about 20, 25. Yeah, we can get, like, we can do a video in like 23, 25 minutes. Yeah. Usually. The, the perfect one is about 20 minutes long film. Yeah. To a, for a 10 to 15 minute video. And if we like drink during it, or we, me, it's double length at least. So we can confirm that I do actually drink as much as you think I do in these videos, if not more. But. I don't drink as much in real life, which is a weird thing I want to address right now. Because I get a lot of comments on my social media saying, oh, Carl, why are you drunk? Or you drink all the time. So I'm not an alcoholic. It's just that the snapshot of my life that's visible through these videos and on social media might suggest that I am. But as someone who's lived with me for like, what, six months now? Brad can confirm I don't drink every fucking day. It's like once a week, if that. I'm just enjoying the hypocrisy of you saying to an I audience don't drink, yeah, with yeah. a beer in your hand whilst drunk. I, I don't drink, guys, I swear. Yeah, I get comments all the time. Why aren't you drunk right now? It's like, because it's three o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday and I've got shit to do. 
<laughs> like my own mum's like, oh, can I sink drink a lot? It's like, no, I don't. But it's because like when we record two videos in a row and I'll drink in both of them. People say, oh, he's been drinking for three days straight. One group on a Monday, one group on a Wednesday. Wow, Carl was drinking for three days. Like, no, we record them back to back. I think you might put a picture in the background now of your bookshelf downstairs. Oh, no, no. With, no, with no context. Do you want to explain the picture I've just put behind you? That's my beer shelf. <laughs> the recycling goes out once every two weeks. So my beer shelf gets kind of full. <laughs> But it's not all my beer I'd like to point out, or all my tequila, or all my rum. But most of it is. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. <laughs>